How is lads? So today we're going to cut this out and put this in. This is all prepped up and ready to rock and roll. But we're going to cut this out. We're going to cut this section out. I have another piece to put in here, and then it's going to reveal a hell of a lot of goodness for us to cut. Out. Let's get to it. <laughs> we have a bit of uh, cutting and welding to do, I think. Yeah. Just a little. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to just cut along the bottom of this because I know I have a good chunk of it. So I'm going to cut it as tight as I can and I'm going to. Then just take it bit by bit. Let's get to it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, this is enough. That's great, isn't it? Something different. Now, be done. Be done. Be done. I just thought I'd throw in a few pictures to give you some more detailed look at what the shop top was like. I had two lumps of steel welded into the front and back prior and um, it was just, uh, it was an old repair that needed to be redone. And um, also yeah, and you can see the hole here just on the outside of the slam panel or of the balance or so, but I don't know what you call it. So there's the shock top there now, that's the new one and we did clean it up a little bit and that's the outside of it we cut the rust off and made repairs to it as it was needed and here you see them side by side i had initially cut a small section out of the one on the right and um, the original one just to check and see what the inner edge was like and it revealed a whole load of stuff well, here you go <laughs> and it, it just was it was in an awful bad way lad so i just got the grinder and cut and you can see then you have the supports i had to redo all the supports then as well and Everybody's been asking what the brown stuff is. It's actually weldable primer. Welcome back, lads. How are we? How are we getting on? As you can see, I'm balls deep in this thing here. So I've got the structure in the back all sorted out. I've got the little hole at the front here patched up and all. So i got to just cut. I've also welded on a little flap play here for the, the new piece here to weld to. For the wheel well and then the uh i'll cut the, i'll cut down all of this in a few minutes when i get this on because this is my this is all my reference point here at the minute so this is my reference point this little hole and um, these little markings all the little lines i'm going to use as much of it as i can for my original position because this is going to determine and help me help me determine 
where this structure goes even though I have got one or two measurements made up so I will uh, mark out this and we will get to cutting. Let's get to cutting out this section here. Just gotta get me Googles on, cut this out, weld this in, and let's see how we get on, guys. Also, if you're liking the content, lads, give us an L subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think of the build so far. If there's anything I can improve on, just let us know. Everything's greatly appreciated. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in a bit now. I'm just gonna start cutting this out. Rusty. Not a bad fit. Not bad. Just a bit of trimming here, there, and everywhere. Oh, yeah, I didn't cut down. How is it going to fit in properly, is right? Isn't she lovely? I'd serenade that to sleep all night long, lads. I tell you, is that right? So now, what we got to do? This piece that did go there in some way that went there, right? So, as you can see, that only doesn't want to sit there anymore. But, but, come on, get back into place. Go on, I'll let you sit there now, right? Go on, I'll let you just. Anyway, lads, we gotta fill this gap. So. Yeah. Let's get to cutting and making. We have it made. She needs to be twisted into place a little bit better. But she's nearly kicking the sucker away from her. Straighten it up a little bit before I go at it. Now let's try it again. She's a little bit on the better side now. Be able to manipulate it into place anyway. Good enough. Happy with that inside arch. We'll just fill over that hole there in a few minutes or so when we get this welded in, so let's get that in. And now that's ready to get this shop top mounted and cut and fidgeted. Let's get at it. Welcome back guys. Let's get this cardboard out of my way before I start eating it. Oh yes, we're back. So lads, now let's get this 
set up into position roughly where I want it to go. The great thing is I have it all set up that I just have to put a little mark on it the whole way around. Trim it out bit by bit and make sure that she's in place. But we have everything that makes it go into place like that. We can't get it wrong. So let's get to marking out this. I took it off and went straight back into the right place. No, it's not going to be that. It can't be. Yeah, boy. Let's cut out that section now and get this piece back in. Yo, we're on the home stretch on this side, guys. Let's get it. So just before I put on this piece, I'm going to grind down this here and remove some of the rust. Okay then, let's go for our initial fit. Oh, doesn't sit so bad, but it looks like it's nice and The camera stopped recording and this is what we're left with lads. It fits, it's perfectly in place, absolutely class, it needs a little bit of finishing here and there but we're getting there. Okay guys, so we're gonna get primer on up a bit of this car again, so I wanna just take off this door. I already have the check strap off, so it can just fall off the door. Now that door's off, I'm gonna take off this little Okay, we're nearly there, that's we'll just have to take off this piece here now. Which is held in with probably a tip on. Oh Phillips, is that So I want to take off this bracket, don't mind a little bit of noise from MC Hummer here, 
I'm just going to put the screwdriver in and give her a little love tap. Oh jeez, she's tight. Wow, that was tight. Good job. Let's get to grinding. These rust removal discs guys are absolutely insanely good. It just eats the paint clean off it like that. I know the dust might be bad but meh. So let's just grind away here with this. See what we can get done. Get some primer on this thing. I've got this thing masked up and ready for primer so you're wondering probably why that, do that door is still on it's just because I'm being lazy that's cause on the street I will get it off when I start stripping the front and then I'll get more epoxy primer on the areas then that I missed but uh, just take a little look at the mask and the, and the bit that we're actually going to primer right now so we're going to put epoxy primer on all of this that's the exposed metal we'll put epoxy primer on and we'll put some along here, all up along, inside the door jams and all that as well. Yeah, but before we get into priming, I'll show you some products that I got from Parts for Cars up in Dublin. Absolutely incredible stuff, lads. They're absolutely gentlemen. Um, hit them up. They're in Blanchardstown and they're on Ballymount. In uh, they're just off the Ballymount exit parts for cars .ie, lads check them out the prices are absolutely savage check out the, some of the products that i got from them the other day so as you might have seen from the video i did get a new pair of gloves but i did also get a couple of extra pairs of gloves a couple of cable ties a new little spray gun can't wait to see what that's like loads of cups and various different products from 4cr to get us by with this next project and we've got a new spray mask Rubber wheels, some new sanding blocks and all guys, so I'm gonna get to mixing up some primer. 